than me. No, 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 31. So you're, you're 26. I'm older. Yeah. The point of coming to Kenya was to go rock climbing, to document the rock climbing. I mean, it's a classic climbing expedition. Nice, dude. It's so sick. Woo! A big part of why I do expeditions like this is because you get a year's worth of living packed into two or three weeks. Nice, dude. Oh! Oh, yeah. That's pretty good, huh? That was awesome. Yeah, that was a good adventure. Ah, I just should... fell. <laughs> Push the back part. <laughs> Toss an earring. This has got to be one of the stranger Christmases I've ever had. Bye, come on. Put that foot up. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Nice, dude. Yeah, buddy. Woo! The climbing expedition has a lot of power needs, and Goal Zero really stepped up and provided us with a lot of product in order to, to facilitate the filming on the expedition and then also to leave behind for you know, whoever we could find that would benefit the most from it. It's funny how lights are like the primary thing, being able to like have a powerful flashlight to like wander around in the dark. It's something that you don't really think about in the first world, but like in the equator here, I mean, it's dark for 12 hours a day all year round. We wound up visiting this 90,000 acre conservancy right on the edge of the Rift Valley. Conservancy is one of the more wild parts of Kenya because they've really made an effort to preserve it just strictly in its wild state. Since 2012, there's been a huge upsurge in the poaching throughout Africa. Uh, it's estimated that an elephant is killed every 90 minutes. So we are up against that. A lot of poachers kind of come over the Rift Valley here and are very coordinated and increasingly well equipped. People say the buffalo are the most dangerous of all the animals to shoot. They're very smart. So let's just lift onto the roof. Yeah. That seems super soft. <laughs> That'll work. So there are over 50 rangers at the Conservancy and they're tasked with preventing poaching and trying to preserve, you know, 90,000 wild acres that everybody around them would rather just exploit. I mean, we went out, you know, on sort of a casual patrol with the rangers just for a little night walk, just to see what it's all about. And just five minutes away from their hut, we flushed some buffalo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The buffalo ran off, and then we're all like tramping around in the bushes, and I was like, this is like kind of scary, you know? It's like dark. I don't know, it's pretty hardcore. What animals are the most dangerous? The most dangerous animals are snake. Mm. Buffalo, snake. Buffaloes also. Elephant. Elephant. Lion. Lion. But, but, the, <laughs> but the scary one. <laughs> I think this is, uh, it's kind of intense, honestly. Yeah. Just the idea of like walking around in the forest in the yeah. dark with like so many dangerous animals and dangerous people. Uh, you know, it seems like a little bit unnerving. Um, I can see how having a decent light would be quite helpful. <laughs> <laughs> I think this trip was really a best case scenario where we used all the solar equipment to like make this cool climbing film and then when we're basically done making the film we were able to find people who were really in need of, of energy access. This looks very good. I think, yeah. I think uh, this looks like a nice home, you know? You know, to think that, that 90,000 acres of, 
of wilderness is going to be slightly better protected because the rangers are more able to deal with all the, the challenges they're facing. Thank you.